Hello. It's day two of the Birmingham Vino 2017. That makes it Wednesday the 6th of December. Time, looks at what? 07.33. I think I'm just underneath the Premier Inn logo, overlooking the Apple Store. Uh, right, okay. So other thing from Bitman, he said, have a look in Grand Central. Okay. I'm thinking there might be some pubs in there, I'm not sure. We'll have a look anyway. And then the Briar Rose. And then the Welly. And then the Post Office Vaults. And then probably the Craven Arms. I'm not sure. But we'll see. I forgot. It's also Wetherspoon's Lodge. And so it may well be open from 7 o'clock. It is now 7.53. So even if it's not, it's close. I need something light. Couldn't face a full coffee. So inside the buyer rolls. Here's the carpet, Mr. Manning. And here's the first of the day. I'm only going to start on halves. This is 6%. This is Golubka. Imperial Stout by Acon. Nice head. Mm, yes. Wow, that is full flavour. Touch of alcohol in the finish. I like that. Um, B plus and a bit. Now, I don't usually make New Year's resolutions. Um, but I'm aiming for 2,500 unique drinks by the end of 2018. I'm on 2,313 at the moment. So this is 2314. We start with the carpet and we move on to number two, which is also a porter. Greenwood's 4X Porter. 4.7% alcohol by volume. No real aroma. Well, it could be no real nose, who knows? No pun intended. Hmm. Sweet, uh, less body, nice dark burnt notes finish. Oh, yeah. I'm not as good as I go, whatever it was, B plus. That's the Wellington, and I've got it should be open now. Come back to see where we've been at. Chill breeze. And we're off. And there's the carpet and Welly's around here somewhere. But apparently Welly doesn't tweet and they don't know who's tweeting on that account. But he's she is not around here anyway. Local brewer called Froth Blowers Brewing Co. Excellent. Uh, this is the Jolly Brewer at 4.3% alcohol by volume. Gravity. Hmm, lemony. That's not bad. I would say that's more summery, but rather really thick lemony. B plus in a bit. Mr. Manning. I'm early. It's nearly open. And Greg's next door. Hello, are you watching? Post office vaults. Post office vaults Bible. Flooring for Mr. Manning. And I'm drinking apple. Simcoe, gluten free. 4% alcohol by volume. <coughs> Lovely hoppy aroma. Wow, not quite a fruit bomb, but it's good. That's a B plus plus and gluten free. I went in Birmingham, drink Belgian. This is the last bottle I had, and it was put away for a 
Oh, that's chappy. And he let me have it. This is a Saison Cazo. Those gentlemen there can pronounce it far better than I can. <laughs> From Brasserie de Cazo. It's 5% alcohol by volume. Bottle condition. It smells like a Saison. Mmm, that is wonderful. B. Another one from Acon. This is Phantasm 4. Point. I think it's 4.5%. Says Hoppy. Real wood, Mr. Manning. Mmm. I'd say more hoppy and spicy. B plus and a bit. Oh, Moving oh, over oh, to Germany. Cologne. Cologne. This is a tranche. This is Sonne Tranche. 4.8% alcohol by volume. Original glassware. Fresh floral aroma. I'll give that beef plus in a bit. <laughs> oh, the wind's up. And it's a chilling wind. However, there's the Craven Arms. I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, it's not quite what it was, but it's so good. And the cream arms. I know what you're going to say, but it's got a nice carpet. And second day from Froth Blowers Brewing. Own Swaggo, 5% alcohol by volume. And there's music, there'll be a takedown. Hoppy smelling. Mm. There's a sort of honeyish sort of taste to that. Um, but citrusy. B plus in a bit. And when you go there, um, this, this will be my last. This is Jack Spitty by Cold Sabuli. 4% alcohol by volume. Mm. I think my taste buds are going, I don't have to describe that, that's a B plus and a bit. That's nice. Yeah, B plus and a bit. 